record button. Oh, it zoomed right in on my face. I didn't even do that. Oh. Hey guys, what's up? I just left the gym. Filming on my new camera today. I'm very excited for you guys. Can you tell the quality is different? I felt like today would be a good day to pick up the camera. I haven't felt like filming in a while. I've just been working a lot. And so I figured today would be a good day to bring you guys with me on a little adventure. I'm going to my lake house in New Hampshire. First of all, I have my younger cousin's graduation in New Hampshire that I'm going to. And yes, I thought I would bring you guys with me through my adventures this weekend. All right, I've got my breakfast here. Just some peanut butter protein oats with some blueberries on top. After a fat ass workout, there is nothing better than a giant bowl of protein oats. our pond that keeps our pond water regulated and filled with water uh, so it doesn't get too low or too high. I remember when I was younger I used to go fishing down here in the bottom and there's crayfish down there. Little red like mini looking little lobsters, little shellfish. I don't think it would be a vlog without me showing you what I'm doing for my food. Right now I'm making vegan skewies because going to a graduation party and, you know, come prepared. I have all my veggies cut up and then I marinated the tofu overnight. This is just some other tofu, but I marinated the tofu overnight. Cut up all my veg and then I just have these little sticks and I'm sticking them on. So I literally just chopped up some eggplant, some onion, and then I marinated tofu, firm tofu in a bit of teriyaki sauce and barbecue. And now it's like an Asian barbecue vibe and it is so good, I'm so excited to try it. Red bell pepper, zucchini, and then repeat. I've got lots of eggplants, so I'm trying to use up a bunch of that. Skewies are really good, they're really easy, they're really cheap to make, they're just, it's kind of fun to make them honestly. Can be a touch time consuming, but I think it's fun. It's also a good like bonding activity. Like, if you're going to a party with your friends, like everyone get together and come make the skewies together. <laughs> Remember I did that with my friends in Australia for the 4th of July. They just weren't, weren't about the vibe of the 4th, but they were there to support me for sure. They just didn't have the uh, same enthusiasm that I had. <laughs> All right, these are the final product. Look at that. Wish you guys could smell that because they smell unreal. They smell like Asian barbecue. <sighs> oh, I just sneezed a bunch, but that, now that is a skewy. 
Karen. Oh, you missed it? Karen will Karen's making weird. Are you taking a video? I think it's a video. I think it's a video. Okay, I'll not. Oh, yeah. I would have made a scene. I made a lawsuit. Yeah. Everyone meet my savage oh, yeah. little cousin. So I right outside, like the gym door. In the hall. We were still, like, oh, walking just in, in the hall. We're still in the hallway. All right, guys, now you get to have a laugh with me because I had no idea that my camera could, one, I didn't know it could record in slow motion, and two, I didn't know that I was actually recording everything for like an hour and a half in slow motion. But here we go. I've just edited it into little clips, and you know, it's looking a bit cinematic. Like, it's looking professional. Mm, look at me smelling that. Skewer. So I'm just gonna put some aesthetically pleasing music over this and you guys can just laugh at me, all right? All right, enjoy. <laughs> By the way, how cute is my family? Look at my dad. Look at him. What is Donna and my mom? They're so cute. So I don't really post that much of my family on my social media, but I'm just so grateful I have the family that I do. I love him so much. This is my grandfather. We call him Pepper. We call him Pepper. His actual name is Pepper. His actual name is Albert, but we call him Pepper. All right, look at that. He's a baller. But I'm just so grateful I have a small family unit and I'm so grateful I get to spend time with them and I'm just, after being away for three years straight and not seeing my family, I really cherish the moments that I get to spend with them. So I thought I would share this with you guys on YouTube. on a quick dip into oh my god why thought I'd take you guys with me to go on a quick dip into the pond me and my mom just went on a walk so I'm feeling good I'm feeling I got some exercise in and now I just want to swim the water's not that cold like let's feel it like it's a bit chilly but it's not that bad it's a bit muddy pretty is that? So I just went in. It's really not that cold. Oh, there's horse flies buzzing all around me. I don't know if you can see them, but I feel really good now. I feel like, woo, super calm, super circulated. Like my circulation's good. And it's actually really sunny out. So I'm just gonna go rinse off in the shower. And then me and my mom are gonna drive back to Maine. But I think we might stop on the way home um, to this really pretty national park that has a bit of waterfall, some waterfalls and some rapids. So you guys can see some of that. Okay, I'm gonna go shower. Hey 
guys. So we're at Screwauger Falls in, it's actually northern Maine, um, pretty close to the border of New Hampshire. So my camp's in New Hampshire and then our house is in Maine. So this is on the way back to our house. It's so beautiful here. I actually just shoved, I just stuck my head out the sunroof in the car to get a video of us going through the notch with my camera. So if my eyes look a little crazy, that's why. But um, this is so pretty. I'm gonna flip this around so you guys can see what I'm seeing. This mama. Hi, mom. called Screw Auger Falls in the Grafton Notch in Northern Maine. So if you're ever up this way for any reason, you should definitely stop here. It's a national park, which means you actually can swim here, but it's protected. So I don't think you're allowed to camp, but you are allowed to bring dogs. I think they just have to be on a leash. Um, but yeah, it's literally so beautiful. The water's kind of freezing, but it's really refreshing. And it's, when it's the rainy season, the water gets really high and the rapids get really big and the waterfalls get really big. So I recommend coming then, but it's not too bad. Just put my feet in and it's not as warm as the lake, that's for sure, but look at these eggs, mom. Those are eggs. Oh my goodness. See those guys? Those are eggs. That's so cool. So this is what the eggs hatch into. Look at the tadpoles. Little froggy babies. Look at them all. That's so cute. Tadpole babies. They're so cute. I remember when I was in high school at Hebron Academy, my science teacher let me hatch tadpoles, or sorry, let me take frog eggs and from the pond and we set up a, uh, a water system to put moving water into a kiddie pool and we had this in our lab and then I basically tended to these frog eggs until they turned into tadpoles and then to like th through the larval stages into frogs and then I was able to release the frogs outside <laughs> to, into the um, environment and this wasn't even for like a graded project. I just loved my science teacher so much. Her name was Dr. Swenton. And she knew that I loved doing stuff like this. And so even though it wasn't like, it didn't fit the project guidelines or something, I still did it anyway as a side project and she helped me. So that was the coolest thing ever. And this is what's making me think of that. Oh, there's a really big tadpole. I'll show you guys. It's like more um, mature, if you can see it. See that big one? You know, what's the thing I just thought of is that every time you go to a national park and there are signs there, I always recommend that you read the signs because you can learn something new and they're written by scientists or they're written by people who are involved in the national park or the campground or wherever you are so always read the signs because you're going to learn something new and it's going to be about where you are and that's just like the coolest thing ever so read the signs don't just walk by them take the time to read them trust me you'll thank me later for it god that's so pretty Five minutes and she's on the other side of the fence. 
Kathy. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Holy fuck, be careful. Need to go down.